Welcome to our life groups here at Calvary Chapel Saving Grace. And if you're new with us, we want to just give you a special warm welcome. So grateful that you're uh, joining the life groups. Hopefully you are as blessed as we've all been that have been a part of them. And of course, they, they are the heartbeat of our church and um, just a, a time, you know, to come together. We think of uh, one of the theme verses of the book of Acts, Acts 2.42, they came together for the apostles' doctrine, that is the teaching, fellowship, uh, breaking of bread, that fellowship, it says in the breaking of bread and in prayer. And those all those things happen at a life group. And so, so excited uh, that we're all able to meet again. I know it's been a long break and uh, just a, a true blessing to be back together. And so I just hope that that you guys uh, really develop friendships, develop, uh, you know, relationship. I know many of you have already done that, that that continues, that strengthens. You know, there's a real sweetness here at Calvary Chapel of body life. And uh, it's so important for us to just uh, have people in our lives, other fellow believers, like-minded, uh, loving the Lord, uh, seeking God together, encouraging one another. And pray that you guys encourage each other, not only on Wednesday nights in the life groups, uh, but throughout the week, I know some of you guys have group chats and stuff and encourage you uh, to be a part of those. If you're not and if you guys don't have them, maybe some of the newer groups don't, I encourage you guys to do that. <clears throat> that that would be a, a real, real blessing. Well, uh, First Samuel's been fun. It's been exciting for me. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you, I was a little hesitant of teaching it. It's just so big. Can I really get through all of that? You know, can I get through a chapter a week? And, and thus far, we've been doing well uh, in that. And so um, just really uh, been blessed. It's so rich. I found that it's been such a, a rich study, so applicable to our lives. I think so, uh, such a difference than uh, some of the New Testament stuff we've been doing, you know, the exhortational Pauline epistles. So um, I think it's a, it's a good switch, a good change. And I know there's so much as I'm teaching, I'm like, oh, man, I wish there was life group, man. They could discuss this and this because... There's so much that I'm just kind of doing a flyby as we try to do a chapter a week. And there's so much more that we can dig into, uh, no doubt. So uh, without bogging the church down and me, you know, being in 1 Samuel for 10 years, um, we're, we're moving along. But uh, as life groups now are here, you know, there's some other things we can we can dig into. So I want to encourage you guys to, to do that as you're taking notes on Sundays, uh, to really dig into the text uh, to think through it. Of course, the questions will lead to uh, the main discussion of the group, and Pastor Joel uh, will be putting those together for you guys. And, um, you know, I'm recording this video on Sunday after church here in my office, and I'm Debbie and I are flying out tomorrow. So uh, Pastor Joel is going to be with you in the next few weeks, but he'll be putting together the questions and getting you guys this video. And so uh, just, just uh, you know, some thought on revival. We've been talking about the last few weeks, and I just believe that God is doing a fresh work. There's been some prophetic words that have come uh, about that. I've seen that happening. Uh, as I mentioned, um, you know, in my sermon on Sunday, uh, just the uh, that there is that that sense, and and I will say, like uh, amongst our young adults, we're seeing a, a real fresh work. We're seeing a stirring. Uh, no doubt something that is an afterglow from the week of prayer and fasting. And I did hear that um, Heidi uh, Douglas has a group um, where I, th I don't know if it's on Facebook or whatnot, but you guys can reach out to her um, ab about like, the continuing. I think they're fasting every Friday um, and praying. So, uh, you know, continuing in that vein of just praying and fasting and seeking God and and, you know, we're just seeing results. We're seeing God do results and and bring forth fruit. We've been talking about uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, you know, really here in First Samuel, just looking at, you know, how God defends himself. God, God doesn't need anyone to rescue the ark. He can do that himself. God doesn't need anyone to overtake the, um, you know, the false idols. God d does that himself. We've, we've seen that. Uh, we saw God you know, scattered the Philistines when they came after Israel through just thunder uh, and lightning. And, and you know, that's that's pretty cool um, that, you know, it says it thundered uh, from heaven. And then there's, you know, <clears throat> the God Baal, who is the God of rain and thunder. And, you know, uh, the picture of, you know, him, you know, uh, that we have throughout uh, antiquity. We have, you know, sculptures and whatnot of 
him holding, you know, like, um, uh, you know, just some kind of a, a weapon in, in one hand, um, you know, uh, like a, a hammer or something. And the other hand, he's got a lightning bolt, literally. Um, and it's pretty cool to think that God, you know, it's like systematically he's just destroying uh, all of their uh, pagan idols and gods. So he's going to just wipe out the basically the Philistine army in Samuel's day. It's going to change as we get into Saul's day. But in Samuel's day, it's, he's wiped out um, through thunder. I love that. Um, the very thing he stands for, he's his his people are fleeing from. So God is God is on the throne. God doesn't need anyone to defend him. God is our help. We saw Ebenezer, the the you know the the stone that that Samuel set up. It just means God is our help, uh, and we need those. We need those like markers in our lives where we have those stones and uh, where we just see how God has been faithful. And, you know, whether, as I mentioned in the message, whether that's journaling, whether that's like uh, a picture we have or a memory we have, but we need to reflect on them. We need to go back to them and we need to think through them and remind ourselves that God has always been faithful and he's never really needed us He's just let us come along for the ride, and um, he is so good. So I pray the Lord bless you guys and just give you a sweet season, not just tonight, but a season of, of life groups. I pray you guys stay devoted and committed to them. As I know, schedules get busy, but I encourage you guys to make it a priority. Uh, and let's continue to see what God will do as we wait upon him and seek him. God bless you guys.